to speak the obvious, we're disappointed. Uh, we felt uh, we had played them well enough to win, but um, they made the shots down the stretch, and obviously the big shot uh, down the stretch. But proud of our guys and how they played, the rebounding. I thought our execution against the zone was good. I think we got to get some things we can improve on, obviously, that we've known about. And, uh, but uh, continued to get the ball inside and did a good job of uh, uh, on the offensive class, which we wanted to do. And, and uh, uh, we got to continue to get to the free throw line and, and uh, uh, make shots. We're proud to leave how he played and knock down those free throws and show how much he's grown up. But um, uh, a lot of good things for us, but uh, at the end of the day, it's a loss. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, uh, down the stretch, they, they made shots. Uh, the two, uh, the fair hit were tough shots. And then obviously the shot that he hit was a, it was a terrific shot. Um, I thought we guarded it about as well as you could guard it. We made him catch it as deep as you could um, on the baseline, which is what we wanted to do. And obviously he made about a 40-footer. And so, uh, you know, I think we did what you're supposed to do. I mean, I called the timeout to get us set and make him catch it deeper. And he caught it on the baseline. And, um, you, know, I, 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 you know, we did, I think we did, the, if do it again, uh, I, I think we did the right things, but he made the shot. And they're going to get a shot off, obviously, if, and, and uh, uh, in that last time. But uh, he made it, and uh, uh, he made a tough one. Two hands on his face and, and uh, two guys on. I thought Cameron did a great job of uh, funneling and, and getting on that guy because his guy wasn't going to be in the play. And, and uh, so, um, you know, with his credit, he made, he made the, the right thing. But uh, we knew he'd have the ball. We knew he'd be the guy, and, and we really had two guys on him. So uh, he made the shot, but I thought we put our guys in, a, in, a, in a, I thought they were, I thought our guys defended it, uh, uh, and the guy made a good shot. Jim said he wanted them to throw at the length of the mm -hmm. court instead of, is that what you were kind of yeah, trying, we, we, trying we want, to push that? Yeah, you know? we, I, I mean, you know, I mean, the, the, if he had told us he was going to catch it on the baseline with four seconds left, you know, I mean, I know we'll be questioned, and, and we, and then I take full blame for it, um, but, uh, you know, in normal in, in a situation like that, if you can get him to catch it on the baseline, you've put yourself in as good a position as possible. And I thought we did that. That's what we wanted to do in the timeout. That's what we talked about. And we wanted our, our, our funnel guy to to really double team him. And that's what we did. And the kid made the shot. And uh, I'll take the blame for it. And uh, uh, because that's what I told our players. Uh, but. Uh, I'm proud, and, and this game can't stick with us. And that's what I said to our guys: it can't stick with us. It's 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 gonna it's hurts, and we're gonna be talked about it and, and asked about it. And yes, we gave up an opportunity, but uh, we need to get ready for Saturday, and we need to not let it linger. And so that's that was the message I gave to our players afterwards. So um, again, I took responsibility for the loss as I always do, and uh, well, that's uh, that's where we're at. But uh, um, I'm proud of uh, I'm proud of how our lead played and. And how we knocked down those free throws, and um, you know we got to we got to practice. We got we had a good practice yesterday for the first time in about three weeks. We had everybody out there. We need to go practice tomorrow and get better, and Thursday and, and Friday and get better for Saturday. Jamie, it seemed like a lot of your possessions and maybe the last four minutes resulted in right down to the end of the clock and a yeah. tough shot. Was that good defense or poor offense? Uh, I thought we. Um, uh, I, I thought it was, uh, you know, we had to be patient. You're not, you're not getting a lot of early shots, good shots against the defense, uh, like ours as well. And, uh, you know, that's, that's why they're two pretty good defensive teams playing out there. So, you know, we, we, uh, uh, we were on the attack the entire time. It was never, you know, we use clock and then uh, try, to, uh, try to go at the last 12 seconds or so. So that, that was not uh, our, our, uh, by design. Um, I thought we got a, a decent look on a couple of them, but uh, you know we had a couple possessions. We were up six, obviously, uh, but the uh, two possessions where we didn't score, they obviously got the ball uh, immediately after that and hit a basket, and uh, and then obviously the three by fair was huge in the corner, uh, no question about that. So uh, they hit the free throws in the transition, and. Uh, you know, that, that's where it's, but I, I thought we did a pretty good job attacking, but we didn't finish well around the basket all the time. I mean, you know, I mean, the, there was the, the play that we had two, two, three shots underneath the basket. You know, yeah, if, you, if we're going to be, you know, that's, that's what you want to do, and uh, you know, it's something we need to improve on. Jamie said the, the final play you, you go 
Back, you wouldn't change anything about it. No, I mean, I wouldn't do that. Obviously, we would like to, him to, to miss the shot. I mean, but. Uh, <laughs> right, I, I just meant that you meant the way you defended the play or calling that timeout, you wouldn't. Change. Well, I think the timeout was good. It made us catch the ball deep. I mean, I, I guess they said they wanted to throw the, they, we, they, deep on the baseline. So, I mean, I, I know we'll be questioned on the, free, the timeout. I mean, I, I don't know that that gave them uh, the opportunity to tell them that, oh, let's catch it on the baseline and let's dribble the length court and shoot a 40 footer. I don't think that's what they set up in that timeout. But if it is, you know, that's why he has, you know, nine, 900 wins, I guess. But, um, you know, I, I mean, we'll, I'll, I'll take the blame. I mean, I'll take the blame. If the timeout was the reason why we missed the sh uh, we, we He made that shot, then, then I'll take it. But if we made him catch it on the baseline like we did. We had two guys on him. You know, I, you know it, it's, someone's going to be at fault, and, I, and I'm going to be the guy at fault. There's, there's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping up, and I'm, I'm taking the fault, as always, when we lose. And so, um, and... Uh, um, we uh, it, it can be questioned, but if you if you go into a game and the guy's going to hit a tell you he's going to take a forty footer with two guys on him, you know most most people would say. But I mean, you know, someone's going to be a fault, and, and obviously uh, he's the he's the guy that made the shot, and, and I'll take uh, I'll, I'll take the blame. You led them late in both games. What the, the forty yeah. foot shot aside? What is it about? Syracuse that makes him so tough to close out. Well, I think Enos is, uh, I mean, we watched it. I saw a stat when I was watching him. He said he hasn't had a turnover in the last five minutes of a game. I think he's uh, obviously uh, as good a point guard as in the country. You want to have guys that are that, that solid and, and, and make plays. And, uh, and, and obviously, uh, Fair did. It, it's, uh, I think, you know, I mean, they, they made shots in, in, uh, down the stretch against us. And in uh, and, and no way do I think our defense is. is, is uh, uh, the best we've ever had or where it needs to be, and we just got to strive to get better. We've never felt our defense is where it needs to be, but uh, we had some uh, uh, some guys make some shots, but we got to be better so that they don't make those shots. And, uh, um, you know, it's, it is a, uh, um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's something that we're going to continue to work on and, and work on tomorrow as well. We've got to get better defensively. You played, uh, played Jamel a little bit more than Michael looked like. Yeah. Jamel, it looks like in the last three or four weeks that, the light's really starting to come on for Jamel. I, I, th I thought both played pretty well, and, and they, they they have been good all year, and you know not as good sometimes, but that's how, how uh, everybody is in, in freshman. But I thought we got pretty good defense out of them and rebounding, and they were pretty good against the zone. So uh, both of them. Jamel did a good job. Uh, I thought made some nice passes. Came with some big rebounds. I thought down that stretch uh, when we when we got, went up. Uh, uh, a, a couple baskets, but you know we had a number of opportunities, and they always hit, they hit the shot. We hit them to go to nine, and and then they hit the three to bring it back to six, right in the next play down. And um, you know, as you know, I know they didn't shoot a great percentage, but um, that they seemed to hit them when they needed to. They responded, and that was a deep three that that that, that, that they hit there in that case. So uh, again, you know, I know uh, uh, I, as I told you guys that the rebounding and. Uh, out rebound by 11. That was our goal. That's what we wanted to do. We came out and did that, and it reflects how hard, how passionate we were, and and uh, uh, and uh, the, you know that shows great signs. And Jamel was part of that. Derek Randall too. He yeah. played a lot tonight with the lead uh, on the on the bench. What do you think of what he? Gave? I thought he gave us good defense. I thought it was good, and that's what we would need from him. And I thought he did some good things. Get uh, a couple screens and movement in our zone. They got us some drives and some uh, uh, attacking. Uh, at the basket, so I thought he, I thought he played really well. Obviously, Philippe got in some foul trouble, so we had to uh, rotate that way uh, and, and play uh, accordingly. And so, you know, I thought I thought we got pretty good uh, play out of, out of that spot, including Derek. Yeah. Jamie, would you prefer, prefer to have that, that CJ three and the CJ jumper? Is that, is, you know, instead of like a, a CJ driving? Yeah, I mean, you know, again, he, uh, we we played it well. Um, I, I, I I wish we could have gotten. Uh, uh, more help, but he made he made plays. I mean, he did, and and uh, you know, it's uh, again, I'll take responsibility that we won't, didn't want him to keep him away from the basket, make him take jump shots, and uh, and um, you know, their numbers indicate that when you look at them. Uh, but uh, going down the stretch, they obviously hit him, and uh, you know, I thought uh, that was that was a key a key for them, and and um, you know, uh, you know, it obviously. Uh, Something he you gotta you gotta find a way and, and they found a way. One more question, guys. Jamie, talk about the fact that these kids have to bounce back, put this behind them. Mm -hmm. How tough is that gonna be? Well, I mean we had a we've uh, we had a tough loss against them last time and I thought we responded well and you know that's that's that was my message to our guys. This is gonna be uh, you know, a lot of people uh, 
uh, obviously watching this game, and and uh, you know, you know there'll, there'll be a lot of disappointment, and and uh, but um, it, it can't affect us going forward. It, it's got to make us better, and so I thought our practice was better yesterday. We need to have a good practice tomorrow with everybody out there, and uh, and, a, and a good one on Friday to get ready for uh, our game on Saturday. That, that's what it has to be. I mean, we're going to be uh, uh, we're going to have a lot of um, when you lose a game like this, you, you have a, you, you you have a lot of. Uh, uh, you leave a lot of uh, a lot of things on the floor, but uh, we need to pick the, pick it back up and, and be ready to go. And I, and I think we will. We responded well, and I think we will do so. Thanks, coach. Thank you.